to the first vlog of 2024. Would it be really weird to start my first vlog of the year talking about how much I hate cucumber? Because I freaking hate it. I've never liked cucumber. I don't really understand what the hype is about cucumber. Everyone seems to love it. If water has had cucumber in it, I can taste the cucumber. And everyone says cucumber doesn't taste like anything, but it does, I can taste it. But one of my things that I wanna get into this year is pickling. I want to learn how to pickle. So I bought a cucumber to pickle. <laughs> Did my research yesterday and found out that you need a specific type of cucumber to make pickles. One of my Christmas presents from G this year was this, which is a little pick pickling station. So you put your stuff you're pickling in here with the liquid and then you turn it like that so it like sits in the liquid and then when you're ready to have one, you turn it over, the liquid drains and then you can eat the crunchy pickles. So in this vlog, we are gonna be pickling cucumbers. I'm not gonna be doing it right now because I don't have m mustard seeds and that seems to me like quite an integral part of a pickle juice. So perhaps tomorrow we will pickle this cucumber in my new pickling jar and we will see how that new hobby goes. <laughs> it is Saturday and we're going for a little mooch around Shoreditch today. We were in the mood for a little bit of shopping, perhaps. There's some really cool, oh, really cool streets down Red, Red Church Street. So we are gonna head there and potentially, potentially stop off at Dishoom for some brunch. I can't remember the last time I went to Dishoom for brunch. I'm really looking forward to it if we can get in. But I, you know what? I'm thinking January might not be too busy for it. What do you reckon, mate? Hopefully not. Hopefully. I am wearing, I've changed a couple of times already this morning. I am wearing my Cord Uniqlo shirt, which I've tucked in to my <laughs> Smart Uniqlo trousers. I'm gonna wear my Converse. I've got like a black V-neck long sleeve top underneath because it's definitely getting cold. And I'm gonna wear for the first time my coats that I bought. I, I bought this in summer from a website called Pre-Worn, which is like secondhand clothing. And oh my God, I was so happy to find this. It was five pounds. And it's like my dream, my dream coat. I absolutely love this. I don't think you know how, how much I love it. Babe. It's fur-lined, faux fur-lined, and it's like a suede material. And it just, Reminds me of Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2. This is my perfect pelt. Oh my god, it is so cozy and so warm. And I'm just so, it's like, it's oversized, but it's also very tight on my arms. So I'm hoping it is comfy to wear out. But I love it. I love it, Maurice. What do you think? Do you like it? No. Okay then. Also going to pack, well I don't really know what bag suits this. I kind of feel like a tote bag, like a white tote bag would suit this look. Yeah, we do need to go shopping. I could take a tote bag then, but I am also going to take my Uniqlo. Oh my god, I'm like wearing head to toe Uniqlo today. They're taking my book, which I'm reading at the moment, The Picture of Dorian Gray. I showed a picture of all the books that I have to read this year on my bedside table, and I was outstanded by the amount of you that replied saying that you loved this book so much this much of a way through not even a quarter but so far i'm i can see why everyone loves it so much it's absolutely amazing so um g bought me this really beautiful copy of it with like the gold pages and it's perfect size for my handbag so i'm taking this with me for the train <laughs> delicious brunch i had a bacon and egg naan look we're walking down red church street which is where all the kind of cool shops are down this road so we're gonna go shopping for g to buy some new fashion items and i'm just gonna be vlogging <laughs> we're shopping for g but i've dragged him into all my shops um we're in free people and yeah the clothes here g g wants me to get something even though i'm trying to be minimalistic
we've come to Italy, the Italian, what would you call this? Supermarket. Italian supermarket to get some ingredients for dinner this evening. Because G's making me tiramisu. So we need lady fingers. <laughs> the light bulbs look like cigarettes. Oh yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I love a tinned fish. I would collect these if I could. They're so cool. Caponata. All the pasta you could ever imagine. The cutest vinegars. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We found the goods. We found the lady fingers. Can only mean one thing. G is making tiramisu. G got me this for Christmas. It's a tiramisu liqueur, so we're gonna definitely add this into it alongside some cognac. We've got some Raymond Martin. Um, the original recipe is brandy, but I think I'm pretty sure cognac and brandy are exactly the same, just made in different parts of the world, and some masala wine. Mm. I found this in Italy, which is something that I've wanted to try for so long. It's pistachio cream, like spreadable pistachio. And I've seen this has gone viral on TikTok. So not this particular one, but just in general. So we got some crumpets and I'm gonna try it on a crumpet now. I'm very excited about this. Here we go. Mm, that's really freaking good. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. Mmm, time to make some pickles. So I've got normal cucumber and I've got, I also picked up some little baby cucumbers. So I'm just gonna give all of these a quick wash. One of my problems is there are so many pickle recipes online. I have had no idea what to follow and they've all been slightly different. Some of them don't do them in like boiling water, some of them do. So I'm just gonna kind of do this really haphazardly and we'll see if it works it's only pickles so if it doesn't work i can always try again this is a very new sexy knife that we got for christmas and it's just one of my favorite things ever it is so sharp i've already had an injury on it i don't know if you can see i've got a cut there that is healing um so yeah it's very sharp but having like a proper fancy knife just makes me feel like such an adult Fantastic. We got it from G's parents. Um, in this vlog, at some point, I'd really like to show you some of my Christmas presents this year because I'm just so happy with them. And so, yeah, this is kicking off with one of them. I'm going to be showing you my Christmas presents like as and when I use them and stuff. So it's not just like a city down haul. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that because I got some great ones this year. So I'm just going to cut them into quarters. Yeah, that, that's definitely a cucumber. That smells like a cucumber. Okay, and then the next step is to fit them into my pickle jar. It is a fantastic Christmas present. I think I told him that my word of the year <laughs> was pickling. So I'm just very excited about this. Like, I want to learn how to pickle everything. And I know it's not difficult, but I, just, I do feel like it's going to change my life. So I'm just going to lay all these in here. Some of them are a bit too big, I think. I think they also need to be quite tightly packed, so I might end up having to do the whole cucumber to fit it all in. Mm, oh, those are slightly too big. Pickles. I could probably fit some more in there, but I, would, I do want to pack it full of ingredients, and then we've also got some offcuts as well I can stuff in there. Okay, so... I'm gonna add in mustard seeds. Ooh, let me take a quick pick. So I'm gonna pour some mustard seeds in. I don't know how many. That looks good. And then I'm also gonna stuff some dill in there for flavor, because that's apparently what you do. Dill pickles. Yeah. Dill pickles, in it. Because they've got dill in them. Mmm, dill smells so good. Love it. This looks so profesh. There we go. And then I'm also going to stuff in there some garlic for some flavour. Pickled garlic. Why not? Okay, so it is currently looking like this. 
And then we're gonna make, oh, and then I also wanted to add some shallot. Now I only saw one recipe which added shallot, but I'm gonna try it. This, this is only tiny and I'm just gonna dice it very finely and add it in. I don't know what this is gonna do to the flavor, but like we can experiment. Mm, I think, yeah, I think the shallot is gonna make it, it's just gonna elevate it. Cool. And then I need to get some like brining liquid on. So I think I just mix water and white wine vinegar and some sugar and salt. And I think, I think that's it. I'm very excited to put my pickle juice in. I've just let the water cool down a bit so it isn't too, um, doesn't like make my pickles go soggy, you know what I mean? Sorry babe, do that again. No, it's great. Oh no, I'm gonna get this everywhere, aren't I? This is... Do you want a funnel? We have a funnel. No. <laughs> but we've got... Oh, wait, wait. Go ladle! Go ladle! Oh, um... oh yeah. Pickle time, pickle time! How full do you fill it? I'm not sure. I might have to you need turn it. it over and then see. Yeah. Because yeah. they need to all be covered. Let's see what that looks when it's on. Pickle time. Pickle oh. time. I think I got too much juice in there. Oh my god, it smells so good already and I don't even like cucumber. Yeah, I think that's a bit too much. What a mess I've made. Look at these. So I had some extra juice left over, so I just chopped up the rest of the cucumber and made another one. And then with the remaining, I did some carrots. And I've experimented in this one. I've done carrot rounds and carrot batons and carrot ribbons and I've added some chilli flakes and turmeric to that one so yeah I'm gonna put wait for these to cool down slightly and then put them in the fridge and we can try them tomorrow ignore the no makeup look today it's Monday Mondays are my no makeup day where I just smash all my admin and a lot of editing for the week but I wanted to turn my vlogging camera on because another new hobby of mine that I'm hoping to nail this year has just arrived can you guess what it is it's knitting I'm so excited I'm gonna open this now so there was a brand that I really wanted to order from but like they must have had a sale on recently or something because everything was out of stock like all of the needles and a lot of the <laughs> fabrics were out of stock but Maurice has come over to see what I'm doing <laughs> so instead I found a brand a website called Wool Couture and I've chosen a scarf set to get me started what are you doing mister it comes in this my bag of happy it says so I've got a whole knitting pack <laughs> And I chose um, like an olive green wool for my scarf. And this is what I'm going to be making. This scarf here, quite a simple pattern to kick me off. I can't feel any knitting needles in here. You don't know see the wool? They've sent me the wool and no needles even though I bought the set. What? That can't be right. Oh my God, it's giving me an eye twitch. I'm so sad. <laughs> Optional in kit. Optional. Kit, that, that isn't a kit, that's just okay. fucking wool. So, okay, so if you buy from Wool Couture, you need to add on optional needles that's so annoying i'm just gonna have to buy someone on amazon to come tomorrow because i'm just too excited whilst our lunch is heating up we're gonna try a pickle they've been going for tw ha nearly two days a day and a half interesting they smell like pickles <laughs> just grab one are you gonna try one yeah oh you try it first actually you tell me if that's yeah tastes like a cucumber. If it tastes like a cucumber at all, I'm not having it. <laughs> Fucking hell, it tastes like a pickle. Mmm. <laughs> it's not a cucumber anymore. 
No, it's a pickle. It's quite garlicky. Maybe I put too much garlic in it. What do you think, babe? Very flavourful. Very. And a bit spicy as well. I haven't vlogged much today, but we just made one of my favourite gusto meals, which is this. Burmese style crispy chicken by coconut noodles. We've had this a couple of times before and it's so delicious. So we just made that. And we're also trying to learn how to knit. And I've casted on, well, I'll show you that. Let me just eat my food first. Also started watching the new series of The Traitors, which is so great. Here is dinner, yum. Okay, so I've got my wool. I've got my chunky, chunky 15 mil knits and I learned how to do a slip knot I learned how to cast on much easier than I thought and it's honestly taken me about an hour to learn how to actually do the knit stitch but you know, if you can see that I've just done my first one so I'm gonna keep going with this and I'm just very excited because I feel like I'm understanding it now Just take the right-handed needle come up through the loop along the back side so you form a kind of x here and then take your yarn off so we've got the right needle oh here oh my god i'm knitting just gonna go through the loop again and scoop it off like this so one more time on the third stitch here you go through the loop along the back side like this that's a knit take your so this is knitting. You want to do this to every single stitch on your row. You're going through that first loop, you're wrapping the yarn around, and then you're going down and looping, pulling off that loop off the left needle. Oh, fucked it. Fucked it. Fucking hell. Woof. Yesterday it was snowing and today the sun is out. Absolutely a gorgeous winter's day today. I am just doing some filming this morning but whilst I am in the bedroom I thought I'd show you my to read list this year because for the first time I've got like physical books that are, are on my to read list. Um, half of these are from Christmas this year and half of these are books that I got on my birthday last year. This is them so if any of you guys have read any of these and loved them you have to let me know. So as I said I'm currently reading Dorian Gray. I'm a bit further now probably about halfway through and I think next I am going to read. I definitely want to read In Memoriam because G's read that and so many of you on Instagram said that you absolutely loved it. This one everyone loved on Instagram as well. Um, as did Stoneblind, the Medusa, Greek mythology book. But yeah, I've got such a nice kind of mix of books there. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. It's weird because I normally read only on my Kindle. So I just find it so much easier to read on a Kindle because it means I can carry it around really easily. It doesn't take up room. It's easier to hold. I can read um, in the dark and like don't need loads of lights on. So yeah, physical book is... Um, I think I'm going to read physical books at home and then I might have another kind of series on the go out and about when I'm like travelling on my Kindle. Um, I'm like four books into, oh no wait, I think I'm only three books into the Throne of Glass series. So I wanted to read Dorian Gray and then I'm going to probably dip back out into that on my Kindle. Yeah, I'd like to make some more book content this year because I do really enjoy it and I read like 30 books last year. I wonder if I'll manage the same again this year. Probably not because six of those I read on our honeymoon last year and we're not doing a trip again, <laughs> trip like that again. I'm just like, looked in the mirror this morning and my Botox is true, like true and what, true and well? Truly run out. Like I've got all my movement back um, and I'm wondering whether I want it again. 
I don't know. Do any of you guys have Botox? What do you think about it? Let me know. Why is my my like skin's really weird at the moment? It's very reactive to touch. Right, what am I doing? I need to film some petite outfit videos, but I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Today I am wearing this jumper that I got from Amazon a couple of years ago now. And my pink jeans, which I love. This is um like a menswear Amazon jumper but it's such good quality it's like chunky knit nice length i will link it down below because it's such a nice staple to have in the winter i think they also do it in different colors a navy might be quite nice i'm also wondering if maurice knows something that i don't because he has not left my side for like two days now maybe even longer than that like he's literally following me from room to room and he normally does that but not quite as protective as he is now it's a bit it's a bit weird literally sleeping on me which is kind of a new thing normally he's he likes his own space and he likes to be quite far away but he's been, like been sleeping on me every night which is just so weird so either he's ill and he wants comfort or he thinks i'm ill <laughs> and he just wants to protect me i don't know what's going on